This is as much as my face you're going to get right now because I have so many pimples on my chin and I'm insecure about it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, today is the Dreamcatcher concert, so you get vlogging Erin again. Um, I'm very excited about it. I have such a cool idea in mind for my makeup look. Um, and once again, I'm going to be wearing a mask over my face. Um, so I'm literally just going to do my eye makeup and that's it. Um, but yeah, look forward to it. I'm so excited for today. I've been looking forward to this concert so much. I'm so excited. My lipstick got delivered literally only a few hours before I had to leave for the concert. I didn't think it would arrive in time, but it's here and I'm so excited! The box is slightly damaged right here. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm so excited! It's so pretty! Oh god, I can't get it out with one hand. Oh, oh, wait, I can't get it out, hold on. I think this thing takes a charge because it already came, like I didn't put any batteries in it, but it already came like working, so I think I'm gonna have to plug it in to make sure it doesn't uh, lose power during the concert. I'm so excited, oh my god. I need to hold it to turn it off. Oh my god, it's so, it's so freaking cool. I've never wanted a light stick so bad in my life. Okay, it's plugged in and charging. The bottom of this was so freaking hard to get off. Oh my god. But I got it. I'm so freaking excited. So I'm gonna let that charge until I have to leave. Yay, oh my god. I didn't think I would ever get this light stick. Ah! Look at my giddies. Give yourself a bath. Okay, so I drove the two hours uh, to Reading, Pennsylvania, um, and I'm here, and I'm gonna head on inside. And here's my makeup. Um, the pink is a neon liner, so and it should glow in the dark. So I guess we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with how the makeup turned out. And yeah, I'm, I'm very excited!
human being. <laughs> they were so good. So um, I'm sitting in my car right now because the parking deck is so crowded. <laughs> There's basically the entire concert parked in this one parking deck and so everyone is leaving all at the same time. So I'm just chilling in my car right now because I can't move. Um, and I figured I would um, I do a little reflection on the concert. Um, so yeah, sorry for the crappy light, but oh well. Um, it was great. It was so short. It was a little over two hours. Like, it started at seven and it ended at like 9 15. Um, they were so good. They didn't do a lot of choreography. Like, um, Obviously, like the title tracks and stuff that had choreography, and there's some some B sides that had choreography, they did. But overall, they're they're kind of just like walking around the stage, engaging with fans and stuff. It was it was really fun. It was like, even though they weren't doing a lot of choreography, it was still really engaging. And the set list was great. It was different than the New York set list. So, the Reading show is the second show on the U.S. tour. And, um, I saw, like, people tweeting about the set list from New York, which was the first show, and they changed the order of some of the songs, and they added a different song and didn't sing a song that they sang in New York, so yeah, it was a little bit different, but they sang Black or White, and they sang Locked Inside a Door, which are probably my favorite Dreamcatcher B-sides besides Whistle, but they didn't sing Whistle. Um, but, and someone's laying on their horn, dude, just chill. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, it was really fun and they were so good. I was like the first row, the se first seated row just behind the pit. So there was kind of like a lot of space around me, thank God, or otherwise I probably would have felt claustrophobic. There's not a lot of people wearing masks, which made me upset, but I double masked, so it's okay. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. I'll, I'll probably uh, 
take another video maybe when I get home after I you know absorb it a little bit more and collect my thoughts a little bit more um, but they're so good they are so unbelievably unbelievably good I'm so glad I was able to see them it was so fun they're just amazing I love them I love them so much oh, I love them so much I don't know if um, post-concert car chat should be a norm for me now um, but okay after <laughs> After the previous clip, um, I found out that the reason that no one was moving in the parking garage is because um, there was a dude who tried to grab a girl out of her car and steal her car. And I, after I had learned this, I realized I heard someone screaming and I just thought it was like people being drunk. Um, no, it was probably that girl. Cause like where I was parked a little bit further down the ramp in the parking garage, I noticed like all these, um, uh, parking garage employees circling around this area and I'm like what the fuck is going on and then I see all these cops start like swarming into on, onto the floor like there were probably like eight cops that just appeared all of a sudden and I was like what the fuck is going on um and then they like went down to where those um parking garage employees were all huddled and they were talking and then they uh, it was the guy, I guess, who, like, attacked that girl. They c literally carried him out of the building. Like, two cops was ho were holding his arms. Two cops were holding his legs. Like, lifted him, uh, him up and carried him out of the garage. Um, and then there was an ambulance down there below. And then, so I, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. And then I asked one of... Uh, finally, they let us leave. So they had stopped everyone from leaving. And that's why everyone was just sitting there for literally half an hour we were all just sitting in the parking garage for half an hour waiting for the cops to show up um and so then I asked one of the parking garage employees like what the fuck is going on um and he explained what happened and I was like so was the guy drunk and he's like high drunk mentally unstable combination of the three who the fuck knows so yeah, that was, that was, uh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, anyway, I'm home now. It is past midnight. Long drive home. Had some time to digest the concert a bit more. Um, and yeah, it's, I, I think, I think I can confidently say now, I've been thinking about this for a few months now, but I think I can confidently say now that Dreamcatcher are semi-ults for me. I don't think, I don't think I can really have more than one ult. Like, ATs is it for me, really, but I, I think I'm comfortable saying Dreamcatcher are semi-ults. They're so freaking, I just, I love them so much. I love them so much. I came in, put into words how much I love them, and seeing them live was, ugh, I, oh my god, so good. People were, okay, Dami knows how to work a crowd. People were freaking out, freaking out. She probably got, like, the most cheers and, like, the loudest cheers, and then... <laughs> After GU explained, so like there was a portion of the show where they were explaining their solo songs off the most recent album, and then they would either like dance to it a little bit or sing a little bit of it. So they each like featured their solo song a, a little bit. And after GU explained that her solo song Cherry was for her dog. Um, and then she was like, does anyone else have dogs? And people were cheering and then people started barking and then it just devolved. And like at any time you would talk, people would just start, everyone, the cr whole crowd would just start barking. <laughs> and yeah. And then even there were other moments where like they, after their encore, when they were like leaving, everyone, the whole crowd just started barking. It, so yeah, it, it devolved. We were all just barking at them now, 
which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, so I think I, I mentioned this in the other clip. They, the set list was slightly different from New York, according to what I saw on, on Twitter, because obviously I didn't go to the New York show, so I don't know for sure. But from what I saw on Twitter, the set list was there was a one song difference in the encore. They apparently played together um, in New York, but for Reading, they sang Mayday. So I was like, oh, another oldie, because a lot, the majority of the set list was like 2020 and later. They didn't have a lot of older songs. They had Wake Up and they sang Mayday. And I think think those are actually the only two songs not like that were pre-2020 yeah um I'm trying to think if there is yeah no I think just wake up and mayday um but yeah they sound so good Shion's voice so good so freaking good um yeah, they sound great. They were great. They danced great. They were really interactive with the crowd. They were, like, flirting with each other on the stage and, like, flirting with the people in the audience. It was great. It was just a fun time. And if you can see Dreamcatcher Live, definitely recommend it. I, I think the rest of their shows are sold out, though, so I'm not sure. But anyway, queen shit. I love them. I love them so much. It was so much fun. Oh! My phone literally just fell out of my hands. <laughs> anyway, I love Dreamcatcher. Stan Dreamcatcher. I'm going to go pass out now. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye guys.